like to begin by answering to some questions I received after the lecture in the morning. One very reasonable question I received is that this infinite product is obviously diverging. Right? So without some uh, way to give it some meaning, uh, yeah, so this expression is uh, meaningless. So usually a physicist use what is often called the zeta function regularization. So whenever I write some formula like this, I always assume zeta function. by just using SU2 computers. So this is what I would like to compute. Okay. So let's rewrite this. So first I rewrite this covariant derivative uh, using ordinary derivative and just the connection. This can be rewritten as a force. As we have seen in my lecture, uh, uh, the previous lecture, this part can be rewritten like this. And this SA is a, a 2 by 2 matrix. The generator of the system in the double. So the first term can be rewritten like this, and the second. 
kind of dump, which is why this screen connection can also be limited. So I have given to you the uh, explicit form for the screen connection. Then you can use this. The whole thing becomes S square is the uh, spin uh, uh, angular momentum square in the double representation, so that this is nothing but the three quarter. So I can uh, eliminate these two terms. And also, <coughs> for scalar spherical harmonics, uh, as, as I said, the R square and L square are equal, so I use. Now I use the fact that uh, the Dirac uh, cooperator can be diagonalized by what is called the spin aspect of the object. So these harmonic uh, wave functions are basically the uh, represent uh, uh, finish as a representation of left and SU2 R plus S. So one copy of SU2 is generated by uh, the, the killing vectors L, and another copy is uh, generated by a sum of uh, the right generator of SU2 plus this two by two vectors. Okay. And then uh, there are two kinds of uh, spherical harmony. One is a level divide, a uh, SUF. Uh, 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 making use of this expression is very easy. And for this uh, kind of uh, spherical objects, the value is just in the plus in the value. And for this plus, the value is minus And we can also easily compute the multiplicity. Multiplicity of 
spherical harmonics labeled by this quantum number is just plus one and is plus two. And the multiplicity of the second plus is uh, in the same way. You buy this formula. So now we are ready to uh, give a, a, a right standard formula for this data. It's again simply the product of eigenvalues. Okay. For the Dirac operator, it's just uh, again an uh, infinite product of a uh, non negative integer n. I just listed the uh, eigenvalue of this operator for this class of uh, uh, web functions and then the multiplicity uh, also. So this is the answer. So this is the result for the DRT data. Okay, it's just a uh, must. you can try evaluating the ratio of determinant 1 and 2. As you can see, uh, this expression can be uh, factorized into two factors. Uh, okay, uh, let me omit the intermediate expression. Uh, yeah, uh, if you try to do the calculation, by yourself, you will find a lot of cancellation between the enumerators and the denominator. And then the end result is This result look, looks a little bit complicated, but if I'm allowed to make use of some high-tech function called the double sign function or quantum dilowable function, I can express this uh, using it. So let me introduce a special function called the double sign. This is a function of x, but it also depends parametrically on uh, auxiliary parameter p. So this is the definition of the sign function. And if I if, if I'm allowed to use this, then this infinite product can be re-expressed.
again, the definition of this uh, new, uh, double sign function involves some zeta function realization. Yeah, but this is the uh, result. Uh, questions? And actually, this function is a very interesting uh, function. It makes appearance in uh, many uh, exactly solvable physical models. Uh, uh, quite a few examples of low dimensional quantum field theory. Those are inter uh, interacting, but remarkably, those uh, uh, models are all uh, exactly solvable. And uh, some uh, physical quantities like correlation function, low point functions. Uh, can all be uh, expressed with the help of this. Okay. So, so let me summarize what we have been uh, computing so far. So, partition function is. partition function of super QED on a round sphere as this very simple expression. Here, A hat and zeta hat are dimensionless combination of the parameters in the game. And we are left to compute this part, so this black so this that triangle involves the computation of determinants for things belonging to vector matching. But as you can see, uh, this part is independent of the parameter A. So basically, we are almost done here. And uh, yeah, what I what I'm going to get is the answer for this uh, triangle. This is actually two twenty times. So this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, so, but this answer could be very easily anticipated because Z has to be dimensionless quantity. And if you want to express Z in terms of truly dimensionless quantity, then since we have the nature of the parameter that here and the, the remaining part are all dimensionless, then this, this guy has to be proportional to A. And then the, the result comes out to be uh, right. Okay. Go to the computation of determinants for vector management. First, uh, we can compute the determinants for this uh, Dylan operator. But the computation is essentially the same as the computation of this number two. Okay. Then maybe I can uh, yeah okay I can skip the detail and just uh, write the results.
the determinant for the zero probability. Now let's move on to the determinant for the wave oscillator from gauge field. So this is the most interesting part of this story. So I denoted uh, the wave operators of vector field symbolically by using the differential and the logistic operator. But if you want to work it out more honestly, what you have to do is to start from uh, the, uh, the term in the Lagrangian. So there is a term which looks like this in the Lagrangian. So this is this gives you the wave of the of the vector field. Okay? So you want to rewrite this in this form. And this part involves some differential uh, operator, right? And then you want to evaluate the determinant for this operator. Okay. But uh, uh, in working out the explicit form for this operator, uh, it is very convenient to use the differential form of the And this is, so this is, Let's have a look at how those operators work on the vector field. So, so A is a vector field uh, with uh, differential one form location. And then the differential acts on this one form in a standard manner, and it will give you the field of the This is the ordinary action of the differential from the vector field. And then the logic stuff is an operation which maps E1, E2, the two form into a one. Okay, so if you accept this rule, then logic star is just F1, 2, and 3 plus cycle. Okay. As you can see, uh, starting from the vector field, the action of register times D maps a one form into again one form. But uh, the action involves application of one differential. So, logistar times d squared is some kind of second order differential of the one. So, whose eigenvalue we would like to compute? But the trick in doing this is again to rewrite this differential operator into some SU2 representation theory. Okay, let's do so. Uh, to do this, I start from the action of D on this one form, and then I compute this action in a different manner. Okay, so D can act on AA, or D can act on DA. So first, let, let us add D on this guy. And okay, what we get is D, D, R, D. So D 
this is the term expressing the action of the of the right? and we have also the action of the of the right? and the second term is therefore a a a b c a b c Now I kind of succeeded in writing, uh, rewriting the action of first order differential in terms of a C2 representation circle. And actually, if you look very closely into this expression, you find the following interesting facts that for this times the acts on a triplet of the functions. Here, R is, uh, as before, the killing the vector field generating a C2, right? And this TA is the generator sitting in the triplet representation. Okay, so in this way, we were able to rewrite what this start and B into something representation theory. So this procedure is very much uh, like what we have done for the Vira There we have the linear product of RA with some double representation. Now we have uh, the linear product of RA and the chip Again, if you know enough about the representation theory of SU2, you can compute the determinant of this operator. Okay, so this expression can be further rewritten like this. Now let me talk about the vector spherical harmonics. So this is the set of ideal functions which can diagonalize this operator on ground sphere. And this falls into the representation of two copies of SU2. The first copy is generated by the left the vector and the second copy is generated by the sum of R and B. Okay, and there are three categories of vector spectra harmonics. The first one is labeled by this quantum number, the second one. And second one is Each category, you can just...